remember I started an apprenticeship when I was 24 uh, with your homes Newcastle doing level two business admin. So I've actually applied for another one with Newcastle City Learning. I've got a list of vacancies um, of jobs that had just come up and your homes Newcastle was on that so I applied that way um, and I heard straight back. for a complete change of career because I started when I left school in catering so I've done two years at catering college and then into a catering job in a factory work and by the time I got to 24 I'd done eight years in catering I just wanted something completely different um, but by that point I'd got no experience doing anything else so I've chosen apprenticeship because you don't need experience it was a good starting point to branch off in a different direction. challenge for me was starting in a different background from being in the catering industry where it was a lot later so it was I'd start two in the afternoon and finish at ten at night and suddenly it was an office environment different dress code different times it was like nine till five eight till four so it was completely different it was uncomfortable to begin with because it's different it's so different but um yeah you get used to it it soon becomes your comfort zone I completed it within nine months so out of the 12 months I'd completed all my coursework and um, all of that by nine months and then I'd got an interview for Newcastle City Council before my apprenticeship come to an end so it just rolled on perfectly straight into my next job. I've not got any experience since I left school on computers or anything so I've learned answering calls um, the stuff that you feel embarrassed about at first sitting in an office with other people answering calls, it felt embarrassing, um, but you soon pick it up quickly and it's a complete career change, so everything I learnt was from your home's Newcastle. I'd say if you're looking for experience in starting something new and starting a complete career change, definitely go for it and get as much experience as you can. Uh, work shadow as many people as you can um, and just set yourself up for the future. I was based in the, the regeneration team and they were such a big support network like they were very supportive of getting my qualification, getting me work shadowing everyone and most days I was out work shadowing in someone's car just following different members of the team. My ability team had put on workshops where you could sit and perhaps do coursework or you could apply for jobs in that time and help with application workshops and CV workshops and things like that.